folks, main man, Lucky Lancer. <clears throat> Rakdos, Lizards, in standard. Hope you guys are excited for it. I know I am, at least for the time being. Uh, like I said, my name's Lance. From all my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTG, MTG, and Twitter. Watch this live on Twitch. Please follow me. Watch this on YouTube. Please share subscribe. This video, eight thumbs up. You can also follow me on Twitter for reasons unknown. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. To major ride on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. Don't delay doing it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, and even sometimes joy. I always have a disclaimer though, I am not responsible for a sudden increase top, deck top decking only lands being wrecked by Ragavan or being unable to find your sideboard cards. If that starts happening to you, it has nothing to do with me. Just gotta put it out there right now. Uh, but as you can tell, I do enjoy playing Mad as a Gathering. Although watching my videos, you never know that. And when I do play Mad as a Gathering, I feel like Prefer to play whatever the RCQ season is right now. It's modern. Um, I'm I know standards coming up, so I want to try out some standard stuff. And uh, yeah, found a little bit of time to get some stuff done and uh, see how lizards go. Take a look at the weather. I know everyone's always excited about that. The old weather report here. Uh, weather for Avon Elkins are partly cloudy. The temperature of 64 degrees. The wind is blowing from the north at four miles per hour, and the current humidity is 69 percent. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, Weather for your friend, Major Riot. Let's see here. We are still 86 followers on Twitter. We're still 353 followers on Twitch. We're still 614 subscribers on YouTube. So, shouts all 56 followers on Twitter. Shouts all 353 followers on Twitch. Shouts all 614 subscribers on YouTube. Of course, a massive shout out to all three. How much Twitch subscribers are going to be a little bit of the harder money, very trying and dangerous times. I really appreciate that. It's going way above beyond the Call of Duty. Spending that money anywhere else make a lot more sense than here. Um... You know, I've always got to give a massive, robust adult shout out to those that are willing to contribute financially. Thank you so guys so very, very much. Uh, Rakdos Lizards. Uh, this is a deck that I have been seeing people play. I kind of want to try it out myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, see how it goes. You know, it's kind of a, it's a tribal deck, obviously. Um, it's basically a bunch of four of creatures. Uh, the only non lizard in here is our friend Deep Cavern Bat, kind of a standard all star. Um, everything looks cool, you know. I mean, this thing's got landfall where every time a land enters, it deals one damage to an opponent. Iron Claw every time you attack one more lizards, including itself, it does damage. You can get plus one, plus one after it attacks, but before damage. Uh, go for the throw, cut down. Flame, Cache, Gecko. If opponent lost life, you get an additional, uh, some mana there. It's like Burning Tree Emissary. We can discard a card to draw a card. Uh, Fireglass Mentor, if they dealt damage during the beginning of your second main phase, uh, exile top two cards to your library. It has to be cast during main phase one. If you cast it in main phase two, you'll miss it. Gev, Skeld Scout, it's got ward, pay two life. Uh, other creatures get uh, plus one, plus one when they enter the battlefield for each opponent who lost life. And uh, whenever you cast a lizard, that's self-fulfilled because it'll deal one damage, and by the time the creature comes in, get a plus one, plus one. Thought Stalker Warlock. Um, it has, uh, they, you choose the opponent, they lost life, they reveal your card, and you discard it. Uh, otherwise, if they did not lose life, they just discard a card of their own choice. Laugh, Laughing Jasper Flint, pretty hilarious name for a creature card. Um, it says basically at the beginning of your you exile the top X cards of your opponent's library, or X is the number of outlaws you control, and you can cast any of those cards for any color of mana and remember outlaws are like mercenaries assassins stuff like that warlock well there's a lot of mercenaries in this assassin mercenary uh warlock warlock mercenary warlock mercenary or uh, rogue a uh, rogue's the other one right it, it doesn't say on this what that is you know but You'll be getting at least probably two or three off this thing. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, let's get on in there. Really got nothing else to say. So the sideboard, I mean, the sideboard's a, a tribal sideboard. Uh, you got your resses. You got some extra removal. Um, you got some mass removal for, uh, you know, white and green. And you got this thing here. So let's get on in there. Let's see how things go. Hoping things will go well. If not, then damn you lizards.
Someone's gonna have to make a meme about this, about Spider-Man's lizard, right? Kurt Connors. And not the lizards that were in um, the new Spider-Man movies. Th those were pretty bad. Like, the Kurt Connors and the Amazing Spider-Man, right? With the one with Andrew Garfield. Not Richard Garfield. But Andrew Garfield, I think it was. That lizard kind of looked like a Goomba from the, the first Super Mario Brothers movie in the early 90s, mid-90s. I uh, wasn't too impressed by that thing. Old Kurt Connors lost his arm in a horrible... I can't. Was it Vietnam War or was it Korean War? I think it was Korean War, because that's also when Professor X and Kane Marco, that became the juggernaut, they were in the Korean War. Because those comics were written in the 60s, and the, and the Vietnam War was too new to really write much about. Um, you get the Vietnam War, you got to get to the 80s. We start, you know, that's Rambo, uh, Forrest Gump. You know, if you if you start having stuff before that, it's Korean War or World War Two. Um, I think Kirk Connors lost his arm in the Korean War. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe he lost in a horrible, horrific, um, stapling accident. He's at the computer lab or this his own scientific lab and just. He's getting to stapling, stapling important documents together, and all of a sudden, it's just his arm got caught in it, man. His whole arm's gone. Horrific arm loss to a stapler accident. You know, who knows? Who really cares? You know, and then he becomes a lizard through what, like, I can't remember. He's got, like, some sort of beam, right? It, it, I mean, everything in Spider-Man is about, like, a scientific experiment's gone wrong, right? Like, the radioactive spider biting Peter Parker... Uh, the lizard with Kirk Connors, uh, Doctor Octopus getting his arms permanently stuck to him. Um, Scorpion was a uh, science experiment gone wrong. I think Rhino was too. He was like permanently fused into the the Rhino suit. Uh, that was you know one of the reasons why they made X Men was because of Spider Man because. Stan Lee and all the other writers were tired of trying to come up with, you know, reasons why these people had powers and abilities and stuff. You know, they had to go through some tragedy. So when they made X-Men, they were just like, here, just they're born this way. They're mutants. They're born with these powers. That's all you need to know. Done. And people didn't like that. People actually didn't like that when the X-Men first showed up. And that's why X-Men got canceled. It was an unpopular series. And, uh, you know, they brought it back, what, about eight years later, I think, with Giant X-Men number one. So they go to Krakatoa, the island mutant. Uh, the whole damn island's a mutant. Didn't make any damn sense, but they did it. Uh, and uh, the rest is history. It was a very popular comic, and obviously X-Men became just as popular as Spider-Man, if not more popular there for quite a while. I don't know what the most popular Marvel comic is right now. Uh, I don't watch or read Marvel comics anymore. But I used to. I used to be really into them. I used to really enjoy uh, Spider-Man and X-Men in particular. And I loved X-Men. I thought they were great. You know, I loved Wolverine as a kid. I liked Cyclops. I liked Rogue. Gambit was really cool. He was new, too. Uh, Wolverine's got an interesting history. Um, Wolverine originally did not have any claws, right? I mean, he always has adamantium claws. But those were not a mutant power. Those were just some he had. And... Um, They were implants. When he went through Weapon X is what I mean. They were implants. He always had his healing ability, his ability to super sniff, you know, and super hear. Um, but he didn't have claws. So they gave him those. Now, in about 1999, 2000, I want to say about 2000, uh, they decided to give him where, oh, he always had these claws. He just forgot, you know, because Wolverine had memory problems from Weapon X. And he's like, oh, shit, I've always had these bone claws. And they weren't very good claws. They're like blunt objects. Um, so, because there's issues of comics I had for X-Men where all the X-Men's powers are turned off, right? And with these weird collars that somehow suppress mutant powers. But Wolverine is able to uh, still unsheath his claws. He even says, these aren't mutant powers. Even though it wouldn't make any sense because... I guess since they're implants, you could just, you know, unsheath them. 
Right, because they're implants. But if they were his own powers, then yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be able to. He needs special muscles, I guess. To, you know, how would that even work? You got these claws in your forearm. You have to have a special muscle to like shoot them out. That's another thing too. Is his claws are always too big. Like some of the comics and video games and stuff, his claws are like longer than his forearm. So that would mean he's he's walking around. His arms are like this. Like he just he be stuck like this. You know, I'd be like, oh my claws. He'd have to always have them unsheathed. That way he could bend his elbows and stuff. They'd be cutting everything up. And it doesn't make any sense. But that's why it's a comic book, right? That's why it's make believe. I tell you what else is make believe right now is I have no opponents to play against. Apparently nobody wants to play standard. Someday, somehow, some way, I will play standard lizards. But it does not appear to be right fucking now. <laughs> So guys, uh, bear with me here. I'm glad you got to hear the uh, X-Men rant, I guess. But it doesn't look like we'll be able to play anybody. So uh, guys, see you when it's there. Good lord, people. I found someone. All right, before I finish I go first, I do have to reveal my beverage, and it's a good one, folks. No more of these crap beverages. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a 12-ounce can of Mountain Dew. Voltage! There we go. Hell yeah! Let's crack this thing open. We all know the official start videos begin until I crack my beverage. Could happen right now. Here we go. Oh yeah! Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Uh, I don't think I can keep one land. One land is just not really good enough. Again, I don't think one land is good enough. Listen, I'm going to have to mull again. Again. Dude, what's going on? Go down to four. What a great way to start lizards, huh? Keep Jasper on bottom. This on bottom, this on bottom. Just I'm going first. Phone appears to be slow. Maybe not. Heart fire hero is the rule. Well, this is kind of sweet, so they're going to lose life here. Deal one. Play this. Oops. Got to get some red mana here. Make some more. Play my bat. There we go. That was a good turn. Oh, God. Uh... One. I guess I ain't winning this one. I guess I'll take Ember Heart Challenger. I mean, I guess. Man, that's an ugly forest.
Well, I guess it's just time for the bat. This is a weird vampire. It looks like it's got flying, but it doesn't have flying. See that? It looks like it's got flying, but it doesn't. I never noticed it was fighting, like, spiky werewolf things. Yeah, that sucks. That's a lot of damage. Eight. I'm not winning by blocking. Come here, everybody. Should be dead. Look at that came in tap. Seven, eleven, twelve. Not dead yet. Until the end of turn. Okay. I don't think there's any way for me to survive. I could block there, trade here, block there. I guess there is a way for me to survive. Uh, unlikely, because that's there. Uh, no, they don't have any fire now. Oh, it has that ability too. Okay. Okay. So 
So what the hell do we bring in here? Listing deluge, all creatures get minus one, minus one till end of turn. Creatures that are green or white get additional minus two. Obviously, I think a cut down is good. I am not good at signing with this type of thing. Uh, let's see a red deck, so Glistening Deluge doesn't do a lot. And it's all creatures, including my own. I don't think duress is good. Maybe you take out one of these. I have no idea. No clue. If I don't mold a four, I might have a shot here. I'll keep. You can definitely see how this deck plays, right? Because you go... Yeah, because I'll be able to unload my hand here almost. If this guy survives, Vine Thrasher. Looks dead. Paw Patch Rabbit? Oh, I've seen this card before. We try to trade with this guy. No. I guess I could have played, yeah, I could have gone this, then go for the throat there.
Wow, I didn't get a fucking land. I guess I put one in my hand, right? Oh, no, I don't. That sucks ass. Now I can't find lands? I'll just take it. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't block. A six, eight. Let's see if I die here. Looks like I'm dead. Twelve. Three, six, eight, nine. Puts him at thirteen. Trample though. Three, six, eight, nine. Get a land. Ten puts him at three. I think we just want to do it like this. Pull him back. I could also have Thought Stalker Warlock come in and that would make him go down to three. And be another blocker. Be a three three. All right, get rid of that.
Okay, this is the forest. So it becomes a four three. So I go to seven. I'll block there. Doesn't have double strike or anything, right? Take me down seven, and this take me down to four. Okay, all right. Jeez. Uh, yeah, just hit submit again. I always say the opponent's slow, and then I always look at the timer, and I'm like way behind them. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm slow. But it doesn't feel that way, you know? I'm like thinking, dude, these these opening hands have been really rough. Already four mulligans in three games. Mall. I guess we'll keep. Kind of the worst one to have. Keep and put sulfur springs on bottom. All right, I need some cutting down. That thing got to control fast. Okay. This Lizard's deck's really interesting, to be honest with you. It plays pretty fun. Oh, boy. That's not what I wanted to see. Going to make it a 3-2. Wizard. Yeah, it just makes the mana. Okay.
Emberheart Challenger, and we pass on the end of this turn. I'll take the three. Yeah, I'm not even going to mess around. I'm just going to kill that thing now. I don't know if they like if they have snakeskin veils or something. Just uh, I'm just gonna kill that thing while they're tapped out. Yeah, this is gonna get out of control. They have another creature. All right. Another different go for the throat. Swing for one. Level two and every tag is plus one plus zero and trample. There we go. I needed a land. You want to cast this so I know that I can get something off this guy. Right, because it says you may play that card till end of turn. So at least not two lands here. We go, we don't attack. We go this. Oh, it's two fucking lands. Are you serious? God damn, dude, that ain't working. All right. That's not good, because now it's going to have double strike. My cut downs aren't going to be able to. Not that cutdown could have killed to begin with, but ah. What is happening here? Good Lord, no.
It does have double strike. Okay. Good God. I can't win this game. I just got super unlucky with the exiling there. I mean, if I would have found a go for the, I mean, I did get lucky with the go for the throats. Um, none of this makes any sense, what I'm about to do. Because both these cards are pretty important. I guess just that one. Yeah, that's the end of the game. <laughs> He's got the one flying too, so doesn't matter what I take. Whatever I take here, I lose. I guess on that turn, I should have, uh, you know, maybe, um, what happened? Oh. Yeah, I just, I think mulligans, and I don't really know how to side with this deck. Like, I'll full up, straight up admit that I have no idea what's going on in terms of siding. Oh, I actually survived. But I'm dead. He just pays for me. Well, guys, I mean, I, I don't know. The sideboard seems pretty sketch. Like, what do you bring these things in for? Glistening Deluge would have done nothing. I could have brought in the Forge, I guess. Um, should I have brought in Duress? I guess I should have brought in Duress. Run one copy of Cut Down. Yeah, I'm not very good at sideboarding with decks like this. Because, like, all the creatures are super important to each other. Like, you know, that Flame, Cash, Gay, Gecko, you know, is really good to keep getting things going. And, you know, but maybe it's not that good of a card. I don't know. I know the, the Vine Lasher and the Hired Claw and the Gav are like really insane. I think those are like the best cards in the deck. Um I haven't seen one hard claw yet. Three games in, four copies in the deck. Everything's a four of except for cut down. Um just a two of. That took nearly nine minutes to find an opponent. Let's see how long this one takes. Not nearly as long. I 
I guess I'm really kind of struggling here. Jiggius J. Control. Take the deuce. Let's see here. Yeah, let's play Laugh and Jasper. Blizzard. Alright, so let's see here. We want this guy to resolve for sure. I guess that was stupid. This card's hard to play because it has to be on turn, it has to be on your main phase. Yeah. Let's not send the bat. Uh huh. Uh, stern lesson. All right. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay. Uh, go for the throat and cut downs. Y'all need to leave. Get the fuck out. Uh, duress in. And some forges in for sure. Um. We should get some more forges going. Let's take out a gecko and a jasper. I'm actually take out two jaspers. No, let's do this.
Bruh! <laughs> the land! Why is it so difficult for me? Mole. Dude. There. We got there, guys. Uh... Put on bottom. Put on bottom. Maybe I should have. Nah. We'll see how bad of a choice. It's always like you keep more lands or you put more lands on the bottom, right? It's always, you know, no matter what, it feels like a bad decision. Like, now I won't find any more lands. Or if I kept the lands, now I'll only get lands, you know? No matter what, you're fucked. That's what you always got to tell yourself. No matter what decision I make, it's the wrong one. When it comes to that... You know, sometimes in modern, it's a little bit easier to do that because, you know, you got fetch lands, so you can make your mana base a little bit easier. Meticulous Archive. I got Restless Vents, so... No harm, no foul there. We got a ways to wait here, folks. It looks like it's going to be a little while. Opponent just stopped playing. Jiggius J is really taking his time right now. It's like, I got to think about this shit I'm going to have to take in a little bit after eating all these fucking all Polish beef hot dogs. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just leading off on bat here. Uh, these are all very bad for me. I didn't take that because I can duress it. Thunder Trainer. Really, the top four cards you like when you put it reveal a non creature, non land card from it. Offspring four. I've never seen that high before. I'm gonna put the rest in your hand. Yeah. 
Here comes this the uh, Beza. So this guy's gonna cast this, and he's gonna get four life. He's gonna make some fish, and that's about it. Cameron does not want to work today. Apparently I clicked the wrong card or something. Oh, fuck, yeah, I forgot that that existed because I'm fucking focusing on my camera like a fucking bitch. Fucking idiot, man. Wow, and it, I didn't get a land, so at least that's good. Get Cavern of Souls, choose that. No, what the fuck's going on with this piece of shit? I don't think I can beat... I, I don't think this... This lizard deck's kind of fun, but I don't think it's that good. It's like, how the fuck do I beat this? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh...
Oh, and there's a 5 4. Top six. I guess I can take this Sarah Paragon. Well, yeah, it doesn't make any sense for me to destroy that because they'll just get it back off their Sarah Paragon. So how do I beat this guy? I guess I don't. That doesn't work. Three steps ahead. That certainly doesn't work. Your graveyard. They have more cards than me. And that's about, they have more lands than me. Yeah, it's just this one. I don't know that. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I have no removal. Yeah. 
I guess I'm just looking for like their sunfall or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. This is not what I do. It's not how I play. I have no removal spells. Do some get lost here. Oops, that was stupid. What has flying? Nothing except that. Jesus, what a mess I've got going on here. What an absolute mess on the battlefield. We still got this, deals three damage. How many rogues I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six mana. He's got enough. So he probably needs to do that to get rid of uh, old Jasper here. Wow. All right, damn. I really didn't think I could win that one, but I somehow did.
Absolutely nuts. Absolutely insane. I'll take it. Join me uh, for the next one, guys. Damn. All right, guys, let's get in here for round number three with Rakdos Lizards. I mean, seems like it's tough to find matches in standard right now. Don't really know why. It's, it's concerning. We'll put it that way. But I, I so far, I have been liking this deck. I think it's pretty fun. You know. But... If I can find anyone to play. All right, guys. Found opponent. There we go. That's all I need. Wow. Five lands, two creatures. I think that's just one too many lands. If it was four lands, I would have kept. I think it's just a little too many there. And that's better. I mean, it's not great. But it's playable. Uh, keep and put the additional flame cache gecko down. Must be Boros tokens. It's funny because, like, you know, should I play this on Arena instead of uh, MTGO? And it's like, yeah, Arena's got more players for Standard, but at the same time, it costs more than MTGO. Like, to get this deck, it cost me, like, less than 20 bucks to get the cards I didn't have. And, um... You know, it just, uh... We want to play this one and then swing for one. It'll both trigger. All right, we got some lizards. Are geckos lizards? N yes, they are. Geckos are lizards. Salamanders are amphibians. <laughs> it's so weird because they look very similar, geckos and salamanders, but salamanders are a lot more slimy. I've seen salamanders. Um, one time I was uh, outside, and I, I, it was late at night. I was going to a casino. Probably like 11, midnight, something like that, you know? And uh, I'm walking, and I'm like, what is walking there? What is that? And it's this gecko about this big, walking along. First time I ever seen one in my life, last time I ever seen one in my life. I'm like, wow, a gecko. Not a gecko, a salamander.
Yeah. Gonna cut that down. This is like Jeskai tokens? Huh. Someone's gonna get a beaten. This here's one, two. Four, six, eight total. Opponent extremely slow. So I get for playing standard. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. I may have to just replace the camera, which I'm not going to because I don't want to spend money. Straight up. Another mentor. I don't know if I should do that yet. Cause you got to play these things smart because you, you only you get to add one to your hand right top two cards play that card so if i play this out i, mean, I need to kill that if i play this out i'll have to play two and i'll have like no extra mana so really this guy's only good as a one of on the on the field most of the time extremely slow here Okay, it gives me time to mess with my camera. There we go. It's going to be a while, guys. This has been like a disaster league. I've been trying to piece this thing together, and it's just like I can't find people to play. I guess, again, you got to go play uh, on Arena, which sucks, because Arena costs a lot more to play on. You know, I mean, like I said, I bought the piece of this deck that I didn't have, which is like all the lizards. I had the lands, you know, all that jazz. All right, there we go. There we go. It might also be like just Boros Convoke, I guess. Uh, I guess it's just take out Thought Stalkers are generally free bag against this style of deck and bring in Glistling Deluge. All right. I think it's like the first time I really played Hired Claw. Like, mostly going off Vine Lasher, which I think Vine Lasher might be a slightly better card. Eh, maybe not. That's wrong. I know this is the card I've been the least impressed by, the Fireglass Mentor. I'm sure it's great, but it's like, I don't know, it just really hasn't been doing a ton. I mean, the cards have been really good. have been Vine Lasher... Uh, the Thought Stalk Stalker was pretty good. Uh, Gev is pretty good. I forget this one has Menace. Like the only one that's got that. Oh, this one's got Ward. Yeah, that's like the only one. This one's got Offspring and Landfall.
Oh, it's going to be a long one. Sit back and wait. That's all I can do. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do here. Hang out. Wait. Hope to somehow, uh, hope to somehow, uh, get her done, you know? Probably not gonna be able to. This takes so goddamn long. Again, a five lander. They have a sideboard card. Yeah, the hell with it. I'll keep it. I found a sideboard card. It's probably my best one drop. Well, they immediately play a blue creature. They go to block it. Yeah. Don't th this is is one problem of MTGO is getting stuck with people like this. You know, MTGA doesn't have this as bad. It can be bad there. They choose not to block. Okay. I was kind of stuck in a bad spot there. I I saw the blue mana. So I thought maybe there'd be counter magic. There still might be. Um. I'm always away from casting Glistening Dailies because of that, though. There's Siren.
All right, we'll try to get the glistening deluge off next turn. I reveal the Seacomb Coast. And this should be a massive, massive glistening deluge here. Everything's going to die. A bat is going to show up, though, because this dies, then a bat. Um, that'll become a 1 2. Okay. And that is a beating there. Right on. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven for one? That's a good deal. Got a war leader's call. in the graveyard. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty close to dying. See what we got here. <laughs> Actually can't do anything, so I'll make that a two, three. See if I can survive here. You can get a plus one on the bat. He wins. It does not have haste. That one. Restless vent. Well, I mean, I guess we just go at it with both hired claws. Way too many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of fifteen.
Naked man is six. If I swing with everybody, I don't think I can swing with this because he just blocks and I don't get this ability, and this might find like a cut down or something. Oh, I can only play one card off it too, so that does suck. I mean, this is lethal, but he'll block. Well, if he blocks here and blocks here, goes to six. This goes up to, takes him down to. Yeah, I just can't attack with this one. Man, this is taking a long fucking time. What an asshole opponent. All right, so this one and this one's attacking. If I attack with this one, he blocks it. Blocks here. He only goes down to six, maybe three. I need this one to find cut down or go for the throat. Like, period. Even then, I think I'm dead. Because I won't be able to... Like, well, he has to block here. If he doesn't block, I win. No way he's that bad. Yeah, I guess just like that. All right, fire glass mentor. I played a land. I already played a land. I, I, yeah, I'm not used to playing this. So if I would have not played a land, right? Three. He still would have lived. He still would have lived. So I only get one. Yeah, how interesting. If you and I would have held back a land, played the land, right? We put it on two, we put it on one. <laughs> I, I, yeah, he still would have survived. We both got one. I just really need to find uh cut down. You know, I don't think that would work because this gets haste, right? Yeah. Of course, you might think I'm having a cut down right now, but that would have made sense. I would have won the game if I had cut down. I would have killed that and just swung in. Oh my god. It was one of the negative things about playing Magic the Gathering. It's just a huge waste of time sometimes, you know? I mean, it's just massive waste of time. It's an incredible waste of time at times, you know? It's just like, damn.
Alright. Pick one of these for another cut down. Even a friendly seven for one wasn't good enough for me there. So this is going to be another full four minute wait here. Oh boy. Oh, doggy. It's like unbearable. I wish I had more to talk to you guys, but I'd be a liar. Uh, I'd just be making shit up. I guess I could do a little dance. Oh, you know, no, I'm not gonna do that. Just damn, man. All this for what? You know, I could be doing a lot more important stuff than this. But we have a slow asshole opponent that probably is a no life fucking loser. Um, that to him, this is great. Wasting time. He's probably trying to reformat his hard drive for the amount of pornography he has purchased. You know, he's like, damn, my, my two terabyte hard drive is full. <sighs> Time to reformat. I'm going to have to delete the stuff I just bought a couple days ago. But it's full again. You know, it's what guys do. Uh, I can't keep a one lander. It's not good enough. Double glistening deluge. Keep and uh, I guess put a deluge on the bottom. What's going on in this artwork? Oh, you see that some magic or something going on, making some fire. I see. Oh. Well, that's cool. I almost played a land first, like an idiot.
You actually tried Vine Lasher in Modern. I remember people were like, oh, maybe it can be good because, you know, you have fetch lands and stuff. Like, no. No, it's not good at all. Dude, attacking's okay here. It's a long match, and it shouldn't be. Horrible. I mean, that's all this is. Horrible. Just waiting so long. All right. Do I want a deluge here? Probably not. Does it make the Vine Lasher a zero one? Eh, I guess that wouldn't really matter. Still be a three for one. Become what a two one. So yeah, probably. Yeah, I should have brought him with that. Um, be a two one, the back could block it. This card's fucking obnoxious. I, I think I should just still deluge here. Just get a good old three for one. No. Uh, that's not going to solve. Deep cavern bat.
think six. Not getting a lot of help here. I mean, go over the throat's good. Uh huh. Yeah, that sucks. They found a flyer there. Need a lot of help. Well, there is to it. That's gonna take me down to ten. I'll be up to eleven. I'll have to do some blocking. Um. Yeah, just kill that, I guess. Uh, yeah, just swing for one. Yeah, I should be dead. I can't win this. This, this is what pisses me off, is this takes so long, I'm gonna lose. Because of an asshole opponent that just takes fucking forever. I mean, fuck this guy. You know, get hit by a train, motherfucker. Wide evil. On your way to finding, you know, some, some porn. You know, you're looking down at your phone. You hit by a train. Yeah, that's super game over. Like, put it in graveyard? Why? Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, we just enough. Yeah, still alive. Wow.
Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. What the fuck's going on? Well, I guess I win that one. Wow. What a fucking joke. What happened there? Okay. Alright. I guess that saves me time. I guess that makes up for the last one. So there we go. Nope. I guess it kind of works. Now we got a mirror match. Oh no, it's it's something different. Must be like mono red or something. We want to play this first. I'm trying to sequence out things. That's a restless fan. I didn't even realize it. What's this do? Target lizard mouse otter. Go take it. All right. Why I didn't cast that? That doesn't make any sense. He could have done way more damage to me. That was weird. He put that on there and done what? Just a shit ton more. I guess I'll take it. I can go for the throat. The, uh, the slick shot. I guess I don't need to kill the slick shot. The big lizard, a five four.
Um, I guess I'll take it. That way I can get the most amount off this Laughing Jasper. Oh, Monstrous Rage. Nice. Can't cast everything here. I guess I could have played that instead. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I need one more mana. I wouldn't mind doing Thought Stalker Warlock here. Um, Keep one back. We can't block this one. I guess just send them all. Yeah. All right. There we go. I guess just take out some Thought Stalkers, bring in Shoulders Edict, cut down. I mean, that's about it. No, a lot of moles with this deck for some reason. Going to five. Wow. Going to four. Keep. Unbelievable, it's so unplayable. Demonic ruckus. What the fuck's going on? Wadded. Maybe I, mean, I should have done restless fence first. Can't block, so head on in. Maya the Meek. Pretty good card, really. No, I think I just gotta kill this Swiss Spear. I guess just swing for one. I don't know if they have anything that does indestructible. They may. It 
Crypto's going to draw a card. All right, I guess we'll pass. There's one. There's two. The friendly eight four. Oh shit. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's try not to mull down to four. You know, mulling down to four makes it pretty tough to win games, especially with a deck like this. That's definitely playable. So we actually want to put out Sulphur Springs first. Yeah. Yeah. I really just randomly gave this thing landfall. Is it the only card in the set that has landfall? It must be something else. What is this? Double striker trample? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to 14. Oh, God. What is this? Well, I guess I take the... <laughs> I guess I take the Monstrous Rage. Right? And they can Flowstone Fusion. I don't know. I guess this should attack because it's just a one two. Yeah. Oh, it keeps the plus one? Yeah, it does.
They don't give it double strike, just trample. Huh, they almost could have killed me there. Wow, yeah, it does all that, yeah. All right, well, shit. All right, well, what is that, uh, two, three? All right, well, I don't really know about this deck. It, it obviously doesn't really fit my style at all, how I like to play. It's just not who I am. It's not what I want to be. It's not who I'm going to vote for. It's not who I'm going to throw money behind. It's not who I'm going to go on a date with. It's not... I guess I went on a date with it. I guess I did that, but... But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems fine. It seems like a good deck. It's just not, I, I just, I'm not very good with these creature-on-creature -creature battles. You know, I need some mid-range stuff, you know. The, the creatures, they, they, they don't really, you know, power each other up enough. Like, when humans, you know, they really power each other up. Um, and they were much more disruptive than this deck, obviously. But that's modern. This is standard. Um, seems fine. Just not very impressed by it. Um... Do I think it's bad? No. Do I think it's good? A little. Um, there were a couple turns that were really good. Like, Laughing Jasper is, like, insane. If you can get him on the board and he just looks at, like, the top five cards of your opponent's deck and just use all their best cards against them, that's, like, he's the best creature in the deck. Um, didn't help that a mole so much. Um, but other than that, I um, thought the deck was okay. I, you know, I I don't think it's a bad decision to play. It's just not for me. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did watch this live on Twitch, please follow me. Watch it on YouTube. Please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can also follow me somewhere else. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to see you all around. Uh, peace.